MESA 2012, brought to you by Groove 3. Hi, it's Russ from MESA 2012. I'm with Trevor Coley from Sontronics. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Russ. Obviously, well, you've met me before. We're friends. But uh, we uh, we uh, would often talk about microphones, but we're not going to talk about mics today. We have a new preamp. Tell me about it. Yeah, we do. We do. Well, this is our Sonora 2 preamplifier. Uh, it's the natural successor to our original Sonora, which we launched about four years ago. And since then, uh, we've been in a period of evolution and design and development for this product. Um, some people will note that we did show this last year as a little taster. Um, but what's happened in that meantime is that we've put our development into full power, uh, full speed ahead, and we're now actually building this product in the UK. It's going to be our first made in Great Britain product. Well, that's obviously, whenever we talk about amplifiers and compressors, Britain is loved. So, so what's the thinking about, what's the vision behind this preamp? Because every man and his dog's making a preamp these days. Obviously, you're a good brand, you're a respected brand in the marketplace of microphones already and stuff like that. So, so what are we going to get from this, from this British front end? Okay, yeah, I mean, you're, you're right. There, there are a lot of products out there and everyone seems to be trying to cotton on to this idea of making a front end to their audio chain. The Sontronics um, ethos has always been perfecting that front end to the audio chain and actually creating an identity of our own rather than being an emulation of someone else's. And uh, whilst there are obviously the, the historic brands out there, which uh, we all know, the Neves, the APIs, the SSLs, that, that have driven our market to where we are today, um, we decided not to try and recreate one of those, but actually design our own circuit. Uh, I'm afraid our engineer, Joan Neves, in fact, is just over there hiding out of the way of the camera, which he tends to do. But uh, Joan's our senior engineer based over in Portugal, um, and he's basically realized my idea and, and put it into embodiment here. And what we have is uh, a dual discrete preamp, so two individual channels inside. Uh, it's class A technology, um, and basically up to 66 decibels of gain in 6 dB steps, but also 66 dB of headroom as well. So the concept here is that you've got a preamplifier which can cope with practically anything that you plug in. Uh, there's a, a, a sort of a fashion these days for the, the ribbon microphone coming back in. Uh, a lot of them are transformer driven, so they have a very, very low signal output, which needs a lot of gain to drive, uh, actually get a decent output from out of the preamp. This, the Sonora, can drive those without introducing any noise or hiss unnecessarily. Um, equally here, what we've tried to do is give a linear response from 20 hertz up to 20 kilohertz, and in fact beyond those, those scopes too, but the most useful scope. So from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, we're aiming at a, a, literally a linear response to 0.3 decibels at some points along that scale. And what this means is that it will give you the sound of your microphone. We are a microphone manufacturer traditionally. What we try to put here is that the, the identity and character of our microphones, and any other microphone for that matter, will be retained through the Sonora, but also the characteristic of this device is very, um, very vintage sounding. So it still has a, a sheen or a silkiness to it, but will maintain that tonality of your microphone. So if you have a favorite, uh, let's say not Sontronics, but maybe a, an old U47 Neumann or something like this, an old C12, it will sound like your old C12 or your old U47 without actually changing that characteristic. So, who you, so when you sat down as a product as a set of product designers on this one, who, what was the vision? Who were you thinking was, is going to buy this? Well, and don't give me the usual answer, which is everybody. Yeah, I mean, no, no, it, you know, it, we would love to say that everybody will buy it, but not everybody will necessarily afford it. What we want to do here is make products so that people can aspire to improving their audio performance. You know, there are many, many talented people out there that are creative and have a skill, but not necessarily the budget or the equipment. Well, what we're trying to aim for here is a marriage of both. So the price point of this device, whilst it will compete in terms of performance with the very, very top end of our industry, uh, the price point is set somewhere in the middle where people can achieve. And we're aiming for uh, a listed price in the UK, including tax, of around £699. Good. Yeah. So we feel that that is, uh, 
I, I still think maybe it's a, a little on the inexpensive side, quite frankly, but we, we're still trying to uh, allow people to reach up and, as I say, aspire to owning something like this, which has been designed on quality and not on a price. That was the most important thing about Sonora. It was designed on quality. We did not waver on anything that we put into this box. What are you hoping to ship? Well, the production has started in uh, uh, three weeks ago. And we are building in a, a factory very close to, to our offices in Poole in Dorset. Uh, the factory that we've, uh, we've used for this is in fact making parts for the Eurofighter, for Le Mans, for, for the McLaren team, for Ferrari. So these guys have got everything they need to put this product together for us. We're expecting turnaround within six to eight weeks to the shelf. So sort of early June we should yes. be seeing these in the shops? Yeah, we would certainly hope so by then. Well, Trevor, have a great show. Thank you very great much. Great to see you, mate. And uh, great product. Thank you for your time, Russ. Thank you.